Hi everyone, Francisco Solis here with a new carnivorous plant video. Today I will be giving you guys some Venus flytrap facts. Unlike most plants, Venus flytraps actively seek insects not to pollinate, but to feed on. They catch insects and digest them for the nutrients that they cannot get from the soil. Like all plants, the Venus flytrap also gets its energy from the sun in a process called photosynthesis. There are other carnivorous plants in the wild, but the Venus flytrap is the only one, not the only one, one of the very few, that exhibits motion to actively trap its prey. Venus flytrap plants are not tropical plants. The red colored pigment on the Venus flytraps is caused by the amount of anthocyanin that the plant produces. The more sun, the more vulnerable it is to produce more anthocyanin. Some Venus flytraps produce none and stay green always. Thanks to captive breeding efforts, far more specimens live in pots and greenhouses than out in the wild. Today we have red Venus flytraps, like these ones here, that have been developed in captivity. And, you know, we got maroons, uh, we got crimson, burgundy subspecies that have been created through crossbreeding. Venus flytraps do not eat meat. Please do not feed them meat. Venus flytraps can live forever in a way if they are grown properly. And uh, this is a fact because Venus flytraps grow naturally and divide forming new plants that are genetically identical to the parent plant. If you grow a Venus flytrap properly, it will never die because it will form new divisions before the main plant completely dies off. So in a way, if you have one plant, you can keep that plant living in that pot as it keeps producing new ones and you'll always have a Venus flytrap in your pot if taken, properly, taken care of properly. Matt Miller from flytrapstore.com has a plant that's been around since 1955 and that's a fact for ya. Well again, Thanks for oh, thanks for watching my videos everyone.